what's up guys I just want to apologize about late, uploading a little bit later today I know I'm supposed to upload at 12 but I woke up late today didn't get to edit my video I usually edit the video the night the day before like a couple hours before I actually upload it so um, I need to work on my time schedule hopefully this summer I'll work on all that um, so today is the exhaust video I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing in my car for sneak peeks in the next couple videos that's coming up I've been editing a few other videos in advance prior to this exhaust video mainly because a lot of things have been coming in and um, you know I just been really wanting to do it so for example got the M3 bumper I know you're probably all like how come this wasn't like a big you know announcement or whatever so I did get the M3 bumper I got new headlights I got all kinds of new parts for the car side skirts uh, putting the license plate off to the side you know new emblems and stuff like that around the car um, those are all future videos, but for now, um, I'm just going to show you guys the exhaust and the setup for it, and um, I'm going to start making the other videos for you guys in the future. But first off, I think i got to get all this thing, look at all this mess right here. Got a couple bumpers, come out on over here, all kinds of headlights, the screws, everything from the wrapping. i gotta, I got to get all this stuff cleaned up, so I'm going to clean it all up, and then I'm going to take out the car and show you guys what I did with the exhaust. Alright guys, I'm ready to get the car out of the garage. Got the two bumpers outside. That's for the next video. That's gonna be a thumbnail, something like that. So I'm um, guys getting a little bit of a sneak peek. So let me get the car out of the garage and show you guys the exhaust. Uh, heard that enough so this is the setup I know it's dirty right now but um, I'm gonna show you guys the bottom and uh, how the diffuser got on there and everything I don't know if it's even focused let me just get in there real quick yeah guys so you just heard the exhaust um the cold start was in the garage I don't know if you guys heard it from the angle the camera was at I'll make sure I try to keep it in there um, and then when I got it out uh, I'll show you guys how I got the diffuser to sit on one side but not the other because the diffuser is aftermarket the bumper is OEM so if you have this problem I'll show you guys how to fix it but um, and then I'm gonna show you guys the setup with the exhaust real quick. So first off with the diffuser, I don't know if you guys can see this really bright outside. Um, it's sitting on here pretty firm. They had to take off pretty much all the bottom tabs in order to put this on because it was uh, because of the exhaust. And I'll show you guys the exhaust in a little bit. Uh, so in order, once they cut it all off, it could nothing was able to support it. I have one screw in the middle here which is not really doing much. And then uh, on this side, I had to drill some holes. You get to see a little bit of a gap there, but you know, it's not really that noticeable. I had to drill some holes and basically like uh, wire it together, like uh, with zip ties. And then I uh, put on this piece to, you know, clean it up. Like if I see it on this side, you see all the holes I haven't finished yet. And then I got to zip tie it and put on the piece to cover it up. Um, Cause this side, if you look at it, there's a whole lot more than this side. This side's pretty much good. So I haven't finished that yet. Again, a lot busy with school. Man, I love the color of this right now. It's changing so many different colors. I love it so much. So let me just real quick show you guys the bottom of the car. Oh my God, it's so bright, it's so bright. So if you guys look on the bottom here, let me see if I can focus it. 
Um, as you can see the exhaust pipes, they're coming straight out of there. There's no muffler. Uh, obviously, clearly it was a muffler delete. You got one pipe coming straight out here to the front. And then you got the other um, pipe coming straight over here. And then it's going behind this plastic piece right down there. Didn't have to uh, damage the battery box. The battery box is fine. And then it came out straight right there. From the back, even with a low angle, you can't see it, which is good. I like it like that. From the inside, you can clearly see that it just does a 90 degree angle. I don't know if you guys can see that, it's a little bit dark, but but I do plan on basically tip like coloring it or whatever, or dyeing it or make it black, burn it. I don't know. I'm gonna try maybe burn it. I'm gonna make it black to where you know when you look in through the exhaust, it's not gonna look like it does a 90 degree angle. I mean it's not like it matters. It's the best you can do on a 330 unless you wanna literally just make your car salvaged. Um, I don't wanna ruin the integrity of the car over something like that. So I do want to have it to where it's reversible in the future if I ever change my mind. You know, I am a teen, things happen, but I do plan on also keeping this car modified and this is a car I plan on keeping off forever. And this is why I'm doing the project with you guys is to look back at it and uh, see all the things I've done to it and um, maybe inspire a couple of you guys to do the same. So real quick, I'm going to start up one more time and uh, show you guys, I don't know if it's going to be that loud, again it's not a cold start, the cold start was in the garage and uh, you guys get to see it while I'm reversing it back into the garage. And again, I'm so sorry. I keep looking over there on the screen. I need to look at you guys. I need to look at you guys. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Alright guys, so if you did enjoy the video, please smash that like button. Um, if you want me to get more in depth with my exhaust, I don't know, any more depth. I kind of I kind of showed you how the exhaust was pretty much routed. Um, if you want me to get more in depth, tell you, oh yeah, so the tips, roughly around $90 a piece. There was a guy there selling it for $80 for both of his. He was changing his exhaust, he was selling me his tips. He also had a BMW, but his was 3 inches. Mines that I currently have was like four or five inches, so they're a lot bigger and they actually fit with the diffuser really nicely. So I just went with those. Did cost me a lot more, but you know I want to make it look nice. Um, so other than that, the labor cost me around because it was pretty much all labor. They just cut off the muffler and then rerouted the exhaust, and that was roughly around five hundred and sixty dollars. So I think no, no, I think that was five hundred and sixty out the door. So roughly four hundred dollars for labor. But then again, it's not just cutting off a muffler, it's rerouting an exhaust, and the time they spent to fit on my, my piece of shit diffuser that wasn't fitting on in the first place. So they did a really nice job, they even tipped the guy, he was being very nice. I mean, he could've just been on like, oh, your diffuser is not working, you know, get us somewhere else, you know, I can't do it here. He straight up cut it and fit it on there for me, and I, I just had to do the sides, he fit it in the middle. So it's a very nice guy. Um, again, this was done at Muffler Tech. Love the exhaust. Um, so now, future projects. Bumper, you guys are gonna be seeing a video on that soon. Headlights, these headlights are atrocious. You guys can see it right there. Definitely need new headlights. And then the side trim, I'm working on this one. But uh, as you guys can tell, let me try to bring it down here real quick. So the side trim keeps popping out on this thing. Uh, so I don't know what is the problem. I'm, I'm gonna probably heat it up, put it back up there, but it broke all the tabs, so I have to order new tabs. Uh, so this is an aftermarket M3 side skirt. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to put it put it back on the car. Same goes with the bumper. I'm gonna tell you guys how to take it off, put it back on with aftermarket parts. So I'll show you guys all the basically, you know, I can't put it on the same way I took it off. This is aftermarket parts to do a little bit differently. You have to do a little bit more sketchy things, but you know, ends up looking real nice. So yeah, again, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button. If you can smash 100 likes, you guys have been doing that for all my other videos. I've really been appreciating it. 100 likes is absolutely mind boggling. So if you guys can hit that for me, it'd be amazing and I'll get an M3 video out this Friday at 12, I promise. If, I, if it doesn't happen, just unsubscribe because obviously I'm not, just, I'm not doing my job. So let me know if you liked it in the comments. Peace out guys and I'll see you in the next one.
my people And we don't give a fuck if it's the 